The Dormy Club is in the Sand Hills of North Carolina, in, uh, just outside of Pinehurst, North Carolina. It's a core Crenshaw design. It was started construction in 2008, opened for play in March of 2010. We are basically the core Crenshaw minimalist design. We have 94 feet of total elevation change with A1, A4 bent grass grains, 419 hybrid Bermuda fairways. Like everybody in the past years, we had some issues with sting nematodes and the controls for sting nematodes have improved greatly and sting populations have gone down. And our increase was in lance nematodes. For high populations, uh, especially for difficult to control nematodes like lance and, and spiral, or, or when uh, the turf's already starting to show signs of significant stress, that's when the spot treatment rated DBNM becomes a useful tool for golf course superintendents. And we had uh, three to five greens that were significantly uh, high counts with lance nematodes. And those uh, counts reached as high as 15,000 on a couple of greens. We've done a lot of research uh, in the last year with, with DIVNM at uh, different rates, uh, using different wetting agents. And uh, we've had some pretty good results from that. We went with the traditional rate uh, the last couple of years and we had you know, some minimal control and this year we did the spot treatment rates and along with the wetting agent, uh, it has it's been easy to apply. Uh, it fits right into your program with your wetting agent program uh, and it has given us really good results from the standpoint of turf quality and increased root length. This is one of the greens that has very high lance nematode populations. There is uh, a little bit of spurge that's uh, that's appearing on this green, and that is a, a kind of a typical sign of nematode damage. But uh, we're looking at an untreated area here, and um, I'll just pull a, a profile sample here uh, to see what we're looking at. We'll just open this up and see what we've got. You can see not very uh, much root growth here. Uh, the, the roots are stopping right at about an, an inch deep, and uh, a little bit of new root growth there, perhaps in a, a recent aerification hole, but uh, those roots are, are quite shallow. That makes creeping bent grass very difficult to, to manage, especially through uh, the hot and humid parts of the year. This side of the green has been treated with DVNM at the spot treatment rate, uh, four applications on a 21-day on a interval beginning in April. And so we'll take a look at, at what the roots look like here on this side of the green. And uh, the roots are still a little shallow. This is creeping bent grass in, in uh, August now, but uh, we do have a significantly deeper root development that's perhaps uh, two inches deep. And we do see a lot more uh, uh, nice, white, healthy, actively growing roots uh, poking through the bottom of this uh, profile sampler here. Our roots and the, the um, quality of our turf have greatly improved this year. Our roots are uh, probably 40% uh, longer in the treated areas, and our turf conditions in the treated areas, I would say, are uh, on a scale of one to 10, or, or uh, 8.5 to a nine, compared to what they were last year when I would have given them probably a four. 